Hey, welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn uh, about Android Alert Dialogs. So what is a dialog? A dialog is a small window that, that is shown to the user screen uh, so that the user can make a certain action. That action can vary uh, whether, whether the user clicks on uh, certain buttons or the user input values inside the text and etc. Uh, let me open up the emulator and show you the app that we will build in this tutorial. So here we have a button that says show me a lot dialog. Where, so when you click on that, then this is basically what the Allah dialog will look like. So we have the icon on the left, and then we have the title, and then we have the description, and we have three buttons. Okay, so without further ado, let's open up the Android Studio and build the project. Okay, let me open up, open up that, create a new project, and then we call this Alert dialog alert dialog tutorial tutorial okay then click on next we leave everything as it is click next click next and click on finish okay build is complete uh, now let's go to activity underscore main and then we'll remove the this text view okay go to design and we'll need to add the button so choose button and then drag it to the center of the screen okay and then we'll give it a we'll give it a label so we'll change that here android text then we we'll call it show me show me alert dialog show me alert dialog uh, let's extract the string resource for this Show me a lot dialog. Okay, click on OK, and then we'll change the ID. We call it my BTN button show dialog. Go back to design. Okay, so now we have the button ready. We'll go to main activity. Uh, let's close this. Okay, so here in the main activity, we'll define the button that we've just created in the XML. So it's button. And then we call it M show dialog. And equals to we need to cast it as a button and find view by ID R dot ID dot BT button show dialog. Now we have the button. Next we need to uh, uh, set the the click event for the the button. So it, it is M show dialog dot set on click listener new on click listener so inside the on click listener oh, sorry inside the on click listener is where we're going to uh, create the alert dialog so here inside the on click method we'll do alert dialog and then alert dialog dot builder that's the first option builder and then we call it m builder M builder equals to new alert alert dialog builder. So choose the first option, and then here between the parentheses we'll give the context. So the context that we're in is main activity dot this dot this, and then we do the semicolon. So now we have the builder. N next, we need to set the title for the alert dialog. So it is m builder dot set title, and then we'll choose. Uh, we have the I have the title and the description here. So let me just copy this. Okay, and then add it here. Now we have the title, and then we'll do the. We need to set the message. So m builder dot set message so for the message i have it right here it's already okay paste it here let me just end this with semicolon and then extract the string resource so for the title extract and then we call this dialog 
title and for the message we'll call it dialogue uh, message dialogue underscore message okay so now we have the title and the message next we need to uh, define the buttons inside the dialogue so for the dialogue there are actually three buttons there is the positive button the negative button the negative button and the neutral button so the OK button is uh, is uh, it's like you say it's like when you use the OK button it means that the user is okay whatever with whatever decision that he, the user wants to take it's negative then it is no it's neutral then maybe you want to postpone a certain action so the user might click on the neutral button in order to postpone that that action so first we'll do the uh, the OK button so we'll, uh, OK or the positive button so we'll do mbuilder dot set positive button and then here it takes two uh, two values right first it asks for the uh, the label that should be that should be put on the button itself and and the next and the next value that we need to pass is the a listener so the first thing is the label so we'll go with okay that's the this that's the label that we need to uh, set for the button and then uh, comma now for the second value is we need to set a click listener for it so why we need to do a click listener well for example let's say if if you have a case whereby you want when the user clicks on the positive button then you want to perform a certain action let's say you want to uh, make a call or you want to share something then you, you can do you can perform that action under the the uh, the on click listener for the positive button so here we'll do new uh, new on click listener and then inside the on click listener for now we're not performing any actions we're just dismissing the dialog so how do we dismiss the dialog well we have the a dialog interface here so we'll just use that so it's dialog interface dot dismiss so dismiss basically means hide the dialog or get rid of the dialog so now we have now we have it for the ok button next we'll do it for the negative button so it's m builder again and then dot set negative button and then we uh, give the label for the button so we'll do dismiss that's the label that we want and then comma and then we set an unclick listener okay uh, we'll end this with semicolon so here we're not performing any actions we're just saying okay dismiss this dialogue as well okay you can actually say you uh, for example you can put a toast that if I if the user clicks on the dismiss button then show a toast message and in, indicating that hey user you've clicked on the dismiss button you can perform any actions that you want to inside the unclick method but for this tutorial we are just dismissing dismissing the dialog so we'll do the same thing dialog interface dialog interface dot dismiss okay and then we have the other uh, button which is neutral button so neutral button as I mentioned uh, before that you can use this neutral button if let's say you want you don't uh, it, the user doesn't want to click on the doesn't want to click on the OK or the dismiss button so you probably you can put another button that for example says okay if you don't want to click on the OK you don't want to click on the dismiss probably you might want to just uh, postpone this action then the neutral button can be used for that case so here we do mbuilder.set neutral button and they will do the same thing given a, a label for the button so we'll just call it neutral neutral and then we set on click listener for it and we'll just dismiss this as well so it is dialog interface dot dismiss so now we have the title and then we have the message we have the label for the positive negative and neutral button the next thing we need to do is in order for this dialogue to be uh, visible 
to the user screen, we need to show it. We need to show the dialog. So we do it like this. It's alert dialog. We define new alert dialog. We call it uh, alert dialog equals, and then we call the M builder that we just created. Uh, M alert dialog builder, and then dot create. So we are now creating the alert dialog. Next, we need to show the alert dialog. So it's alert dialog. Oops, alert dialog dot show. Honey, and that's it. Now the dialog will be visible to the user screen whenever the user clicks on the uh, on the show me alert dialog button. Okay. Uh, another thing is we need to do is we need to set an icon for the uh, for the uh, alert dialog. So we'll do do it like this. So the first thing before the title, right? So we'll just call mbuilder dot set icon. Now we don't have uh, an icon. Currently we don't have an icon, so probably we can use the built-in icons icons which are provided by Android. So we can access that by doing like this: Android dot r dot drawable, and then system define app icon. So we'll choose the first one as uh, an example. So here we have the icon, and then we have the title, message, and the, the three buttons. And at the end, we're showing the dialog. Now we'll run the app and see how it looks like on the emulator. So I click OK. Now I have the Nexus 5 open. I click OK, and then wait for it to load. OK, so we have the app here. We click on the Show Me Alert dialog. Click on that. All right. Here we have the icon, we have the title, description, and the three buttons. So I click on OK, the dialog is dismissed. You click on dismiss, the dialog is dismissed, and you click on neutral, and the dialog is dismissed. Now, for example, let's say uh, you don't want the the alert dialog to be dismissed. I mean, for example, let's say I click on the this button, right? Now we have the alert dialog. Well, I can actually dismiss that by clicking any anywhere outside of the uh, outside of the alert dialog so I click on the outside space then the dialog is, is dismissed and then I click on the back button then the dialog is dismissed so let's say you don't want the user to do that you want only the use you want the user to only dismiss the dialog by either clicking on the these buttons right so you can actually do that easily let's go back to code and then uh, you can say m builder dot set cancel cancelable and then you just uh, give it false right so you click on the app click on the run button again now if you set this right set cancelable to cancelable to false then the user will not be able to click anywhere or outside the alert dialog in order to dismiss the alert dialog the user can only dismiss them uh, by clicking either one of these buttons that you've actually defined. So let's open up the emulator. Okay, so I click anywhere. Okay, let me let me just run. Sorry, uh, show the alert dialog again. Click the button. You see, I'm clicking outside the dialog, and the dialog is not it's not dismissing. I click on the back button, and the dialog is not dismissing. I can only dismiss the dialog by clicking on these buttons. So I click on OK, and the dialog is dismissed. All right. Another thing is, uh, if I open the dialog here, and you can see the color of the buttons is pink. Oh, I guess it's pink. Let's say it's pink, right? Now, for example, if you want, if you don't want this color, if you want to change the color, you can do that by open up the project here, and then go to App. Go to resource, go to values, go to style, and then here we have the color accent. So the buttons in the dialog are actually using the color accent provided in your project here. Now let's say you want to change the color accent. You don't want this color. So we'll go to colors. You see the colors file here, and that's where it has the 
the the color code for the color accent so you can change that to something else uh, I have it open here uh, list of colors that we can choose from let's say we'll select the black color so we'll copy the hex color code here and then go to Android Studio again and then just paste it right here so you can see the color changed on the side here let's run the app again okay so click on the button you can see right the color of the buttons changed because we've changed the color we've changed the accent color you can for example choose other color if you want to let's say we call it red copy that and then go to Android Studio again paste it here oops sorry I need to choose the the hex code color so copy this and then go to Android Studio and they paste it right here run the app again so here we have the color red so let's run it again okay click the button again and here we have the buttons the button color changed to red all right that's basically it for this tutorial if you guys really like it please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of these awesome tutorials please hit the subscribe button thanks again for watching and happy coding